Hey, what up guys? Welcome back to my channel. What's up to each and every one of you guys watching? So this is going to be the set we're going to be working on today, guys. I hope you guys like it. So first off, we're going to go ahead and start off with my 240 grid uh, bed, band, or bin, whatever you want to call it. Um, <clears throat> my little sandy band. I'm going to go ahead and flush out all the oil and the cuticles with this um, sanding band. So I'm going to go ahead and do this and get as close as I can to the cuticle area. She doesn't have a lot of cuticle on her um, nail, so I don't go in depth into her cuticle. Now here we're just basically going to use these uh, nails. These are the tapered, the extra long tapered uh, nails. Tapered square thing. No, they're not tapered. They're coffin. Yeah, more coffin type of nail. And we're going to be using these. These are basically from Zule's shop, guys. Zule's cart big cartel or something like that. Um, you, she's very known for her glue guys. I use her glue for my rhinestones But she also has nail tips and a lot of nail products and also um, a lot of powders acrylic monomer monomer and acrylics She has it all so check her out um, Yeah, so basically here. I'm just adding my tips guys. Basically. That's all I'm doing here. And then here, starting off, I'm going to go ahead and grab my sanding uh, file. This is a Pana sanding file. It is the 180 over 100 uh, grid. This is going to help me actually um, go on the sidewalls and just blend the nail out to the natural nail. That's all I'm doing here, guys, basically. And I'm just showing you guys her right hand. So that's all I'm going to be doing here. So here we're going to go ahead and grab our Valentino uh, dehydrator and primer. This is my go-to dehydrator and primer, guys. It is the perfect bond and primer for your nails. And I saw it. Um, so this is my favorite one to use. <clears throat> and I'm, all I'm doing here is adding one layer of dehydrator and two layers of primer. That is my go-to thing to use for nails. So that's what I'm doing here, guys. And basically, I am going to use the Young Nails Monomer and Acrylic System. I'm going to use that for these nails and also for um, my acrylic. I'm going to be using the, the Hydro Beauty in Big Siren. Is this one. And then also, I am using this little big custom glitter I made myself. It is called Red Glitter. It's all right, so here I'm basically just adding a coat of clear acrylic on the bare nail. The reason why I'm doing this, guys, and I've already said it on my videos, it is because it's for better adhering and also for uh, for no for no coloration uh, no discoloration on your nails for the acrylic. The acrylic is a bright red, so it will leave uh, you know, it will leave color pigmentation in your nails, so you don't want it. That's why I do layer of acrylic before I apply the acrylic on top. Alright guys, so for the pinkies, I'm going to go ahead and add a layer of red acrylic on the bottom. Um, the reason why I'm doing this is because she wants the glitter to be super pigmented. And because the glitter is red, it's going to give me the backdrop of the same color red. And, um, and this makes super, the glitter look super full. So basically that's what I'm going to go ahead and do with the pinkies. Now, now they're just going to be all red. Um, and I really like this red. It's so pretty, guys. It gave me a hard time working with it, especially because it is a red color. Red colors, um, dark colors, the color black, of course, is super hard to work with, especially the red, because it does stain around your nail, your fingernail. Um, it is super hard to use this color, but it's not, you know, it's not something you can't do. It's hard, but it's also, um, you know, it's manageable once you get to work with it more. Um, but basically, it's what I'm going to do for my other four now.
guys and basically when i do my work i don't just use one bead i don't use just two i use a lot of beads to do my nail structure and to fill my nail in and also give me that perfect nice structure of nail i use a lot of beads so i'm not that one to be the third three bead two bead method no i use a gang of beads okay and that is okay to use a lot of beads it is not something that you don't have to use you can also do that as long as your nails are perfect when you're done So here I'm basically just adding my acrylic, the red acrylic, and then after I'm gonna go in with my clear acrylic um, right before, after I'm done with all the nails, adding my red acrylic. So here I'm just adding the red acrylic, right, guys, trying to get the perfect, you know, um, the perfect uh, color payoff and everything, and not trying to go on the cuticle area because you guys see here I do struggle a lot on going on the cuticle area. Nobody's perfect, guys, and so you guys could do that also. That is one number one. Um, lifting uh point of lifting do not do not let the critic hit the skin always remove it as soon as you can because that would uh you know that would uh get start lifting on your nose make sure to do that guys
all right guys so here basically i'm gonna grab my file this is the 180 and over 100 grit file and i'm gonna go ahead and do this and clean out my sides shaping my nail how i want it All right, guys. And for this part, we're gonna use one uh, drill uh, bid here. This is supposed to use and get flush that flush look you want on your nails. Guys. Um, before I wasn't able to use it, but now I am, and I'm able to it now.
All right, guys, and after this, we're just going to basically reshape our nails, making sure our shape didn't go nowhere. I do like to go on top of it to see that I didn't uh, make sure I didn't miss any lumps and bumps. So I do that on top of the file. Alright guys, so this is the fun results. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Comment down below if you guys are interested. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.